the slum and the ghetto that you're living in. Nothing but a death. And since the American white man has used his control over the press and over the textbooks and over all forms of media uh, to make it appear that uh, uh, he has done us a favor by bringing us here and enslaving us. <laughs> struggle has been going in in the past, there are many uh, of our people who are thinking more deeply and more broadly and are beginning to see the importance of lifting it uh, out of the national context or out of the domestic context or beyond the jurisdiction of the United States government. And the only way this can be done is by internationalizing the problem and putting it uh, at a level where it can be taken into the United Nations and then all of the other independent nations on this earth can involve themselves in our struggle and support us. And uh, the only way by this, of which this can be done, instead of it being called civil rights in the future, we're going to have to label it a human rights struggle or the struggle for human rights. It's a difference in the leadership. Those who have been posing as leaders of our people uh, in America in the past, won't, they can pose on this local stage where Uncle Sam is the master of the show and can prop them up and make them look good or make them look better than they actually are by giving them token gains and building them up uh, an image. But when, you when they step onto the international stage or the world stage, then Uncle Sam can't prop them up anymore. And their ability or lack of ability becomes exposed. And if they can lead us forward, they remain leaders. But if they can't, then they have to step aside and more qualified and bona fide leaders step up from the masses of our people and then we get more, uh, we get faster progress, we get more results. Malcolm King is fighting for our place in the sun and we will not rest until that place has been secured.